Built on a desert, Las Vegas is known for its hot and dry summer, but its extremes are getting more extreme. This month, temperatures soared to the city's highest on record, climbing above 47 degrees Celsius. That's 117 Fahrenheit. This is hot. So to, to say it's a dry heat, that's like sticking your head in the oven. This is just crazy hot. It's a rare moment that makes the world's tallest thermometer a major attraction in Las Vegas around this time of the year, with tourists leaving their air-conditioned cars just briefly for a quick snap. It's currently 111 degrees and I came out here to get a geocache. This is one, which is really cool, but I have to take frequent breaks because it's just so freaking hot. You can't go out on any trails or anything like that or you'll just die. Experts at the Desert Research Institute say the average day and nighttime temperatures keep breaking records and that's partly due to man-made climate change. So we're seeing uh, more frequent extreme daytime maximum temperatures being broken um, and then we're not seeing the cooling down as nearly as much at night and, and uh, this is a, that's a combination of both urbanization and climate change combined. The city has become a so-called heat island as it experiences many more record high temperatures than anywhere else. But some studies suggest that if the current trend continues, the city could become uninhabitable in the next 30 to 70 years. That finding by Climate Central isn't surprising some city residents. Well, it gets hotter every year and that's certainly, uh, it's not comfortable. Uh, there's no immediate effects, but you know, it's, uh, like I said, it's a concern for uh, decades coming. Those who are not used to these extremes are finding it hard to imagine living here year-round. For a short time maybe, but I don't know if I could do this year-round. The so-called Sin City is synonymous with its gambling and entertainment scene. But if this climate trend continues, the city could also become known for its searing heat. It is Tian Shan, CGTN, Las Vegas.